Hello everyone, good afternoon. This is your friend and your mentor, Habib Kleman, and I'm here to present to you something very important concerning how one can become an A-plus student and also be brilliant at um, physics, of course. So usually I receive quite a lot of questions from people asking me how can one uh, become good at physics? How can one, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, shape up their, you know, study schedule so that at least they can become productive in terms of their studies? Well, if you have had that question in mind, if that question is what has always been troubling you, this video is for you. So before I go any further, what you are to do, just subscribe, hit the like button, and also don't forget to share to others even as I do this tutorial. Number one, if you want to become good at physics, you first of all need to work on your discipline. You know, physics itself, guys, is a discipline. That's one thing that many people do not know. Physics is a discipline. Why do I say so? When you look at the course itself, it is made up of different formulas, different concepts, different authors, different you know uh, 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 perceptions concerning how objects move and how objects are balanced just within this earth. Now. You, you, you might be exposed to quite a lot of formulas and concepts and because of your lack of discipline, you may think maybe what you are doing is right, but then in the, at, at the end of it all, you discover you're not doing the right thing. Many people complain saying, but how come I used the right formula, but at the end of it all, I end up getting the, the question wrongly. I, I, I end up getting that question, you know, the wrong way. How? It's because of lack of one thing, discipline. But first of all, let me highlight to you something concerning physics. I, I, I always like giving this example, but I explain it in this manner. If you want to become sharp at physics, Number one, exposure is very much important. You need to expose yourself to quite a number of books so that your mind can be exposed to quite a lot of concepts. Physics is all about concepts. When you know the concept, then automatically you are able to find any question that is given to you. When the concept is very much clear to you, then automatically the question is just simple and straightforward. So these are some of the words that are going to help you improve in physics. Number one, the type of books that you study. If you are in university, and of course you are, uh, I don't know what you're doing, but if you are taking physics, you have to go by the book recommended by your lecturer. So usually they recommend certain books to you, they tell you this is the book, right book to use, this is the right book to use, this is the, you know, uh, the right material to use. If you, you, you need to go by that book because uh, it being the recommended book, it simply means that that is why your lecturer is getting questions from, okay? That is just that. So make sure you go by the recommended books. Do not go by any other book. Go by the books that have been recommended to you by your lecturers. That is number one way to pass physics. Number two, you need to be good at your imagination. What do I mean? Usually, many people you know, are, are, are really good at reading things that they can't imagine. If you are not good at imagination, then basically you are lacking something to become a physicist. Because physics itself is all about imagination. If you can't imagine an object passing before you, 
Unless you read a question, then automatically you won't see the object. Uh, 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 uh. You, you won't see any calculations concerning that object. You see? So, if you are able to imagine the, an object while rest, you are reading that question. You are able to picture something in your mind. And while rest you picture, you are able to come up with ideas and different concepts from different books. Then automatically, you are becoming a physicist. So usually many people have challenges. Why? Because here, they are not really that sharp. Okay? So for example, you are able to see this bottle of water. Okay? So if this is a body, we imagine this to be an object, and it passes in between you, you see? You are able to see this body basically because your eyes are able to see it's physical, right? But then, what am I trying to say? The same way you are able to make a, what is, a conclusion by seeing this bottle passing ahead of you, that's the same way you should do when you are answering a physics question. The question is, are you able to see the bottle or the object pass in front of you when it's not there. I'm trying to test your imagination. If your imagination is very much strong, you are reading a question and you are able to see how things are able to be organized mentally, automatically, you will become good. So imagination is very much important in physics. Number three, how, how, uh, how much time you spend on uh, uh, your books. Okay, so many people ask me this question. How many hours were you spending studying physics? Well, I'm a fan of physics. I love physics very much. So usually, when I'm studying, I used to spend at least about, um, well, I know you'll be like, whoa! all those hours, you know, studying physics. Listen, I, I started with just one half eight minutes studying physics. Then, by then, it wasn't that much interesting compared to how it became after some time. So, I, I, I only used to study those hours. But then, after some time, because I, 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 I loved the, the course and I started loving it and my consistency increased, I started studying it for two hours. So, you know, two hours, it started going up to somewhere uh, 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 two hours, 30 minutes, and, and sometimes it would go up to three hours till I started reaching five hours. So, uh, I, I usually would study physics for uh, uh, not less than three hours, not less than three hours, because I, 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 I made sure that at least, you know, I, I have some time to. Uh, uh, balance up, uh, uh, balance up everything. Just uh, you know, within that schedule. So I would make sure that if I have tutorial sheets, I will solve all the tutorial sheets. If I have work, I will make sure that I do that that work. If I've been given an assignment, I'll make sure that I do that assignment. You know, because of that, with that consistency going, you know, just just within a short period of time. Being consistent, I discovered there was quite change. Yeah, there was quite change. Another way that is going to improve your physics is, like I said, exposure is very much important. You, 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 you can't be good at physics by solving one question. At least you must solve quite a lot of questions. So you will need to expose yourself to a lot of questions. So when you check in your book, you discover that there are questions that are down there. To those of you that are using college physics, college physics is the best. There are some books, uh, there are some questions that are just down there. You can go through those questions. You, 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 you can check through certain videos that are there. You check through. You go through, you solve those questions, you make just to make sure that your practice 
and, 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 and your, your skill is quite interesting and amazing. You try to test yourself so that at least you are able to uh, 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 just start from there and build up your, 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 your study ability and just become good in what you are doing. So that is exactly what uh, I would do. Of course, I faced quite a lot of challenges. It was very, very um, tough in the, in the first place. But then with so much consistency, I discovered that it became very, very easy and simple for me. So that's just that. If you follow what I've just said, you put it in line, you just follow it, trust me, you are going to become the best in your studies. Thank you so much.